Hello guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing another Team of the Season Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Team of the Season Lee Griffiths, or Lay Griffiths. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sure people will correct me in the comments below. But if you haven't already checked out the other Team of the Season videos that I've already done, we've worked through a lot of them now. We're coming towards sort of the last sort of five or six that we're going to be doing. I'm going to get as many of them out as I can over the next couple of days. I've reviewed four of them already. Um, they're all just ready to come out. So if you let me know which player you want to see reviewed tonight, because I'll do a double upload today, so it'll be about 9 o'clock. Let me know which one you want me to upload tonight. That'd be awesome. Okay, so getting into this guy. Team of the Season Griffiths obviously has a most consistent silver. And he is a very consistent silver in that. I think he's been on FIFA since FIFA 10. And yet he's never had a gold card. This is his second Team of the Season most consistent silver. He had one in FIFA 13. I remember that card. And I absolutely hated that card. Uh, let's see if this guy fares a little bit better. 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 82 shooting, 77 passing, 72 physical. I picked him up for 33k. Actually, one of the slightly more expensive uh, team of the season silvers because they are all so ridiculously cheap. He's got 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves. He's 5 foot 11, and let's have a look at his in-game stats. He has really, really solid mental and physical stats. Obviously, his strength isn't great, but everything else looks incredible. Sprint speed and acceleration are high-ish. Uh, agility is decent, balance is decent, and everything looks pretty solid. And bear in mind that athletic positioning. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in the video. Okay, skill attributes. He is ridiculous. Look at all those greens. That is absolutely mental. Probably as good as we've seen on a uh, team this season so far. As I said before, he's a, a striker. He's 5 foot 11. He has medium, medium work rates. I remember in previous FIFAs, he actually had medium... No, uh, yeah, defend, he was more defensive than he was attacking. And that's something that I actually felt a little bit in this FIFA. Like, I've seen a lot of people giving this guy, you know, huge ratings and saying he's an incredible player, which he sort of is, but I felt like he was a little bit too defensive. Like, he sat back further than I wanted him to. Like, almost like he was a centre forward as opposed to a striker, which is fine if you want to play him there, but that's not where I wanted to play him. I wanted to try him up front. Anyway, his finishing is great. Long shot's good. You know, he feels quicker than his actual card stats and his in-game stats suggest. His dribbling's really good if you don't get touched by anyone. He's, he's not too weak, but he seems to lose the ball quite easily. But as far as dribbling in and out of players, really, really good. No problems there. As you can see from a few of these clips, really some really, really decent goals. Power shots, pretty decent. Finesse, pretty decent. Actually, not great in the air, considering I think he has 89 heading. I found that I, I kept crossing it into him. I must have put in about 12 crosses to him, and I don't think he got to any of them. He might have got to two, and he definitely didn't score any, at least. And I was really disappointed in that respect. His stamina was pretty solid. I, w I wasn't too disappointed with that, which is good, because with that medium-medium work rate, I, I felt like he, he, he did pull back a bit, so it was good that he had that stamina to sort of make sure he could still get up the pitch. And as far as a player goes... I would say his positives and his negatives. I've gone through most of them. He's not too weak, I would say as well. I did say he's not, you know, he's not strong, but he's not too weak. He's got good passing. You could probably play this guy as a sort of centre forward, maybe even a cam if you were desperate. But he's maybe, I don't know, maybe a little bit better options like McKay Stevens. McKay Stevens is phenomenal. Negatives, he feels defensive. His positioning's poor. I felt like he wasn't making the runs for me. Like, I felt like I'd have to pick up the ball and run with him as opposed to, you know, look up, pick out a ball, and then he's there. I certainly didn't hate this guy, and I liked him an awful lot more than his FIFA 13 team of the season, but I, he wasn't really that top, top class. Uh, I, I felt like he was just, uh, you know, quite a bit above average, but he wasn't super, super special. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to really, really enjoy him, but he just wasn't my sort of card, really. Um, I was looking for a little bit more from him than he actually delivered. I've given him a 7.6 out of 10 and felt like he was a 67, uh, 66 to a 70, mm, blah, blah, 76 to a 79, got there in the end. And that's where I sort of feel like he was, you know, like a sort of low rated gold. And yeah, not not terrible. I'm not being too harsh to him, but certainly not someone I'm going to hold in my club because he, he's more expensive than the other guys and I certainly don't feel he's better. Anyway, guys, which silver player have you used the most on FIFA 16? I would love to know. Have you got any players that you've played over 100 games with? I would love to be... I'd, I'd be really interested in who you guys use. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know which team of the season to upload later. Cheers, guys.